Hello and welcome back to The Red Cassette. It's been a while. Now, here's something that's interesting. So, Sheffield United season tickets went back on sale today. Um, and they uploaded a snazzy new promotional video promoting the fact that season tickets were back on sale and that soon we'll be back, uh, back at beautiful downtown Bramall Lane. We've all missed the buzz. The rush. The anticipation. That feeling only football can bring. However, uh, this video, you know, it was filled with Lots of products that you can buy or will be able to buy from the shop, including, you know, sweets, mugs, lots of different things. Um, but, but one thing I noticed, and a few other eagle-eyed viewers, um, I noticed that the shirts worn by two of the individuals, one in particular um, who was sort of the main character in the two-minute video, his um, retro... 1989-90 away shirt looked suspiciously new. It's just not the way it's meant to be, is it? Because football is coming together. Whoever you are, wherever you're from. As well as another lad that was in the video who's wearing the red and white 92-94 home shirt. Um, again, it looked suspiciously new. Oh, so, what does that mean? Well, I think from the title you've probably guessed what I'm, what, I'm, what conclusion I'm drawing from this. It pr pretty much means that I think we're going to get some retro remakes of some classic shirts. Um, particularly the 1989-90 uh, shirt. Here's my example. It's a little bit knackered. The badges have fallen off. There's big fag burns in it. And also the 1994-90... The, the no, sorry, not the 1994. The 92-94 uh, home shirt. And hopefully if we can improve on the positions we've done the last couple of years, have a good all-round season and do well in the Cups. You you aim for the top, you don't know where you're going to end up, but uh, the important factor is for us to consolidate ourselves as a regular Premier League side. Now, you might be thinking, well, Sam, how do you know they didn't just get them out of the museum, which is exactly what my dad said. However, if we look closely at them, hopefully there'll be some images here, looking first at the 1989-90 uh, shirt, because I think this is the one that really gives it away, um, there is no Umbro badge like there is on this original. This isn't obviously the same kit. Uh, this is the 92-94 home sh away shirt. Oh no, 93-95 away shirt. Sorry, but this is the 90. This is the 89-90 shirt. Here you won't be able to see it, but there is the glue that says Umbro because the Umbro logo has actually fell off. Um, that was there on the originals, however it's not on this one, which suggests that it's a remake because Sheffield United don't have Umbro as their kit manufacturer anymore, it's, it's Adidas. Um, so what this says is that licensing is obviously an issue and they can't have the Umbro badge on the 89-90 shirt or any other uh, replicas. It's the same with the 92-94 shirt, there's no Umbro badge, however the real kicker is on the 8990 shirt, not the yeah the 8990 shirt, there is a big Lever advert right across the middle of it, like on this one, which at the time in the 19 in the late 1980s, sponsorships didn't tend to get put on the consumer grade uh, replicas. They only tended to be on the player versions, um, and there is a Lever badge on this uh, supposed remake. Which again suggests it's a remake because if you look at it, the player versions had a, from back in the day, had a slightly different advert. On that one, you'll see a slight outline round where the the labor bar, the labor logo is. You'll see a slight yellow outline like on the 94, 90, the 92, 94 shirt, which on that one is original. However, it's not original. That's not up to spec with the original for the 89, 90 shirt which suggests that they've used the same tooling as the 92-94 shirt. I've said a lot of numbers in this, I hope you're still with me. Uh, which again says to me it's a remake. And it's definitely not a player issue one because the badge isn't sewn on. The Sheffield United badge on the player issue versions of this shirt were embroidered on. 
um, so they didn't fall off. And they were they were a lot better quality. A few weeks ago, there was a, a player shirt available on eBay, and you could see that the the low the the badges were embroidered on. They're not on this uh, on this replica. Um, and then we'll move on to obviously the ninety two ninety four shirt. Now this is a bit harder to see because there's not as much video footage of this one. There's just a bloke stood up doing this, um, so you don't see much. I'll play the clip now. Yeah, that again. There's no Umbro badge on it, which suggests again it's a remake, uh, and it looks suspiciously new. Like the laces are still in it, so, <laughs> and you don't get many originals that still have the laces with them because a hell of a lot of people took them out, both players and just fans. So again, that's very exciting. Other people on Twitter have picked up on this. Uh, I think I can't remember what they're called, but the Shoren Manifique or whatever they're called. That the, that shot they picked up on it. Um, I tweeted about it, and the Tufty Club replied. They said, you know, it, it doesn't look great, but it's exciting. Um, and also the Star, that well, you know, that really reputable um, newspaper, um, has also written an article about it, um, which, <laughs> to be honest, probably discredits it all. But you know, we'll see. Um, and they're basically saying pretty much what I'm saying, in that it looks like we're going to get some retro shirts. Apologies for the change in lighting. Unfortunately, the sun decided to go in while halfway through filming this, so uh, that. That, that's why that's happening, basically. An interesting thing about these two shirts that they've picked, um, both were finalists in the Chef United kits of all time, kit cup thing that they did uh, during lockdown a while ago. The 92-94 shirt won it wrongly, uh, as uh, I discuss in the video that will be recommended in one of the corners, I can never remember which one, but go and check that video out, where I talk about uh, the, my favorite kits um, and then also the other finalist was this one which is being recreated as well so that that suggests that they have actually listened to the fans which is really nice um so yeah what what do i think of this i think it's it's brilliant it's about time the um the, the club started moving with the times classic shirts at the minute are massive everyone's obsessed with you know your classic shirts football fans love old shirts anyway you know, we've got this re resurgence of, of really old shirts. Everyone's trying to buy them. This, I bought this one the other day. You know, it was £60 second hand. When this was in the club shop, it was probably 30 quid, if not less. Uh, you know, prices have skyrocketed. People love classic shirts. You know, it's one of the reasons why I got bought this shirt. It's, uh, the, it's a replica, a remake of the England 1990 World Cup third shirt. And it's, it's a classic, classic shirt. They're all the rage at the minute so it makes sense for the club to go you know what we'll make we'll remake some of our classic shirts because we really have as a club had some absolutely fantastic shirts in the past um, and I hope that there's more on on the way um, you know more classic shirts I hope to see the both the 81 uh, 82 shirts which are the gorgeous shirts I've got a matching silk scarf for that season um, and the the motif on it is very similar to what's on the, the red and white shirt and the the away shirt is obviously that classic brown and yellow thing that we uh, that we won promotion at Darlington in um, and also in the video itself there's actually a, a, a picture I'll, I'll put it up on screen of of two shirts it's an Avex shirt from the 90s I think it was the 97 98 or something like that Avex shirt next to the away Lecoq Sportif white waffle looking thing and they're both hung up next to each other in the club shop now in the window even now I don't know if this is old footage or whether it's another hint to look at the kits we might do in the future type thing so hopefully we might see more um, I definitely hope so and uh, I'll be throwing money at the club <laughs> and a fist if they do other, other shirts that I haven't got or that are in a poor state like this one, for example. But I, I honestly don't know whether it's just old footage or not. Um, although they don't seem to have used any other old bits of footage in the actual video. So that would suggest maybe that um, it's new it's new footage made to look old and that they are going to be making those other shirts. So, yeah, it's a shame about the lack of an Umbro logo. This is down to licensing. Um, if it is if it is the people I think it is, which is Scordraw who made this shirt, 
Um, this shirt is originally an Umbro shirt. It, it's missing the Umbro badge because obviously England don't have Umbro as their kit manufacturer anymore. They have Nike. Same with uh, Chelsea. Chelsea have got a lot of their shirts made by them and a few other clubs. Um, if the if the current kit manufacturer isn't the one from that era, then it's unlikely that the kit manufacturer's logo will appear on the kit. Leeds are an exception. They've done. I think Scorpro have done a a deal with their old manufacturer so that they can put their logos on the shirts. Um, Derby, they they still have Umbro as their manufacturer, thus the Umbro logo appears on their retro remakes. Um, so hopefully Umbro will come back and make our kits again because they've made some absolute beauties like, like this one, which I must admit divides opinion, but I really like it. So obviously this is a developing story. More will come. Hopefully there'll be an announcement from the club very soon so that I can stop being like an excited child at Christmas, uh, of which I am. And yeah... If it is score draw that are making the kits uh, like like this one, the quality is really nice. The, they are well made shirts and uh, they fit well. The sizing is I can't tell whether it's modern sizing or, or sizing for the day, but um, this medium fits beautifully on me. This is an XL, as you can tell, it's like a dress. <laughs> but to be fair, people did used to wear their shirts baggy then. So we'll have to see. It might be an in-house um, job. It might be someone in, within the club. If so, maybe the quality won't be quite as good as I hope. But to be fair, I think this will be the hardest one to do. The other one won't be that difficult because it's just it's red and white. That one, the material is very, very funny. And from the video, it doesn't look like they've got it quite right. But we'll have to see when, when I can actually get my hands on it. But yeah, um... That's all for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I know it's been a while. I apologise. I've had a lot on with university. Um, hopefully over the next few months I'll be able to make a few more videos once uh, once the university work eases off for the summer. And if you have enjoyed this video, please do subscribe. It means a lot. And do press the like button. It means that the video gets a bit more, uh, bit more outing. Uh, please share on Twitter if you've got friends that might be interested. And uh, yeah. Uh, in terms of buying a season ticket, look, no matter... Managers come and go, players come and go owners come and go the club still stays there so you know we're here through thick and thin if you are wobbling on your season ticket i can fully understand it but we're all blades aren't we but anyway thank you very much for watching up the blades and i'll see you hopefully very soon ta -ra.